moon will make its move in the sign of Aries on 13th of June afternoon Indian Standard Time and till 15th moon will be in the zodiac sign of Aries and it will just wait until the sun exits the Taurus zodiac enters the Gemini and as soon as sun enters Gemini few minutes later few hours later moon will also enter Taurus zodiac sign so definitely moon uh, is going to see sun at the end degrees at the last degrees of Taurus in the second house moon position in Aries will be with Rahu and Jupiter so moon will first cross Rahu and then it will meet the position of Jupiter hi you are watching Sadgame this is your one stop destination for short astrology videos for quick jyotish updates moon is a planet of emotion and ruler of kark rashi now with respect to kark cancer zodiac sign moon is 10th position away 10 places away in aries which is ruled by mars and now you will see a parivartan yoga between moon and mars for 2 days which means you will have you will see variety of emotions variety of ideas your mood swings will be there some new ideas will come some fresh thoughts will come but also new learnings new teaching so it will be like an emotional roller coaster ride especially for aries moon sign and cancer moon sign natives also if you have a weak moon in your chart or an afflicted moon in your chart you should chant the guru mantra or if if you have a got a guru mantra or any brahaspati or guru bij mantra that means for the planet brahaspati or you can simply chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya because regular and repeated chanting will make you more happy when moon is with rahu and jupiter and mars is with venus in the fourth house with respect to moon then definitely this is going to create doubt in relationships and because of your attitude because of your actions there can be some dispute and some uncertainties in the family the environment of home can be disturbed because of this also don't be over enthusiastic about anything in life Rahu can give you a lot of illusion it is only when moon meets jupiter on the second day that means on 14th is when moon will gain a lot of positive energy and moon will realize so there will be very quick growth of ideas and quick thoughts that will come in your mind it will be like a spike so let it come let it go practice vipassana dhyan but don't get indulge into your mental activity more than necessary otherwise it can spiral you down to all the negative thoughts and it can make you feel guilty about things that you have the, the crime that you have not even committed this has the potential to make you uh, think more competitively and you will focus your mind more on victory it you might feel threatened or insulted by small things during this time you will be emotionally vulnerable during this time uh, so it is better not to react emotionally not to take any step emotionally have a good night sleep eat right and eat correct food food makes your thoughts so if your food is corrected most of the things will be taken care this is a vulnerable time volatile time wait for moon to exit the aries zodiac and move to taurus zodiac sign the creative thoughts that will come in your mind should be written down somewhere and when moon is in taurus you can work on it check the feasibility and then act now karma phal should not be thought of but the consequence of your karma you should be aware about that reading ramayan is also one of the ways and by chanting sundarkand path or reading the sundarkand is also going to work wonderful if you are upset or if someone in your family is upset if your mental peace is there you will see that this couple of day which has lot of push and pull scenario of forces you can manage it very well so that was a quick take we'll meet in the next video please subscribe and hit the bell icon share the videos among family and friends this is your host puneet we'll meet in the next video till then namaste